Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Terraria. Now, Beater Worlds may have bullied us a little bit. I'm actually not 100% sure where we entirely left off on. But I know we have live crystals, and we can make some life art statues, lanterns. What am I thinking of? Thinking of lanterns. We can make some of those. Well, we need to make some chains first. Let's make some chains real quick. Hold on. And then we'll be able to make the lanterns, which will help us out a lot in this fight as well. And I feel like we're going to need some potions. Where are the chains? Am I blind? I'm clearly blind. They're in here somewhere. I know they are because all they require is iron. There they are. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, there's already chains in here. Wait, that means we could already craft it. Is it in here? Or we need something else. I don't know what else we need. Let's take it to the guide. See, we haven't actually used the guide at all yet because we're dumb. Guide, how do we make them again? It's just heart and chains. What what are you what are you talking about, game? Where are they at? Unless I need to craft them at a certain thing. Oh no, they're up here. They're in the middle. What am I talking about? Well, whatever. You know what? We have them. That's the important part. So we have full gold armor as well now. That's good. I don't know how much it's actually gonna help us because it's only a marginal amount of defense. We could potentially maybe get the weapon I want here, the Vile Thorn, which will help us out a lot as well. But past that, I mean what else am I supposed to do here? Get lucky? Clearly. Let's kill these guys. Last time I was here in the middle of the night, I was relentlessly assaulted by them. I don't understand why, because they're not like they're not typically that annoying about it. But seemingly right now, I I am having problems seeing. I'm sorry if it's dark. I'm gonna turn up the brightness because it's actually crazy dark. But it's not helping that these guys are just being an absolute menace to me right now. Okay, you guys need to go away for one second. Just one. Just one second so I can place down a wood block. Okay, stop. Cease. I feel like I'm getting deja vu here, how we keep getting stuck here. Maybe we should just come in the daytime. But we got that. Did we make campfires? We didn't make campfires, too. Why are there so many? This is not normal. This is not normal, I'm telling you. Why are there so many constantly on me? Like, it's normal to be attacked, but attacked in this, like, quantity? This is absolutely crazy. Listen, I have about 600 hours in Terraria. This is a little abnormal. I don't know why there's so many attacking me. Let's make some campfires real quick, because it's probably a good idea to have some scattered around. And then we'll put another one right here, and that should be healing us a lot faster now, which it is. It definitely is. But we're still missing. What do we need for the yield yield? Do we need 10 worm chunks or rotten chunks? We might just make the spawner, which actually is a pretty good idea. If we just make the spawner, that would be very convenient. Is the game going to give me another? Oh, hold on. There's some chunks right here. I don't know if we need anything else for the spawner. I'll head down here and see if we do need anything else. Because we just craft the spawner for the Eater of Worlds at these altars. Did I need anything else? I apparently do. I don't know what it is. The challenge is weighing me down right now. What do you... Off the top of my head, what do I even think it is? I have no idea. I know we need the chunks. I know we need the worm teeth. What else do we need? Hmm. Mysterious. Let's get these guys back. We are certainly being hounded by the enemies right now. See, it's a lot more normal down here, though. I mean, there's a lot of enemies still, but two at a time, I mean, that's pretty normal. We were dealing at, like, six at a time when we were on the surface. What was with that? I don't understand. Can we get an item that's good? I hope I haven't broken more than... <laughs> I hope I haven't broken any yet, because I don't know when this is going to spawn. Pretty sure the message is just random, if I recall. But we'll see. We'll find out one way or another. Okay, we're almost through. This is quite the pain in the arse, if I had to say so myself. Okay. Bilethorn, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. It's a good weapon against them. I don't know how much it's really going to help, but it's there. It certainly is there. And... I mean, do we just try it again? We could. 
There's nothing really stopping us. I hate doing that, but I feel like right now we just kind of need to sort it. Because I need to see where things are. We don't really need the wooden arrows. Let's do it like this. Okay, that works. Let's bomb down and let's maybe see if we can fight this guy. I mean, I know we'll fight this guy. I guess I more mean, are we going to kill this guy? Hopefully, we can kill him here. I would like to progress. But if we don't, I expect that as well. <laughs> I, uh, I'm no stranger to getting stuck on a boss in this game. It happens more often than you would think. Okay, we have to run now. So as you can see, we can kind of pierce him like this. I, I'm getting kind of pinned in here. The feather falling is making it a little hard to get through. The armor is actually helping out more than I thought it would. Maybe I'm just underestimating the armor. I don't know. I, the last thing I played was Calamity. So maybe I'm like underestimating how good armor is in vanilla. We don't want to get too far from him. He can despawn, I think. At least a lot of bosses do. I don't remember if he specifically despawns. Well, we're definitely killing him this time. It's over for you, bozo. Don't know why he's giving me so little trouble this time. Because before, he was giving me a lot, a lot of trouble. Do we have any mana potions? We absolutely do not. We're getting pinned in the air. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, so long as he stays below the ground, he can't fire too many projectiles at us, which is nice. This is a very awkward fight right now. But whatever, it's working. If it's working, it's working. I'm not going to complain. Get rid of his little bozo there. It is kind of like Larry Jr. where you don't want to end up in a situation where you have a lot of small ones going around. We have to run. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is really intense. Okay, we absolutely cooked that phase right there. I guess a phase in a way. Well, we might win here. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. If we can get him on the freaking platform again and he just kind of glides along it, we should win. Let's throw some grenades at him while he's all pinned up right here. All wrapped up in a coil. Like a snake. Get some free hits on them. We want to hit them where, right, right where they're intersecting. Because then we're hitting a lot of bits at the same exact time. Let's not die. Be careful. Well, it's certainly a... It's not an easy fight here. We're still kind of struggling, but... Two seconds on our potion. We should be good in theory. I'm heading down. Maybe a little risky. Okay. We got that part. Nice. Another one dead. There is health all over the ground right here. So it'd be nice to grab it. But he's making it a little hard too. I think we got him. I think we got him. Oh, we got him. There we go. Bam, we did it. Eater World's defeated. Let's go. That's what we're talking about. We have to pick up all this Demonite Ore and Shadow Scales, though. But we did it, yeah. Nice. Let's head back home real quick. We have stuff to craft now. Oh, we got a Shadow Orb at some point. Nice. Uh, Where do you go? Oh, secondary pet. Nice. So this is like one of the pets to actually do something. He'll provide light, which is actually pretty useful. But we'll probably switch him out later on. The worm scarf. It's a warding worm scarf. That's one of the best things we can get. So warding is the best defensive modifier you can get on your things. So it's really good that we got that. That means a lot more defense. And this guy is damage reduction by default. Minus 17% damage. So we're going to be taking a lot less damage now. That's pretty good. All right. I mean, I'm happy with this. Mission accomplished. You know, if I do say so myself, that was pretty impressive. 
put these here and let's craft some stuff. We want the pickaxe first and foremost. That's the most important thing. And I would like to make the armor, but we're definitely going to have to fight more. Is there anything we can craft per se? Doesn't really look like it. Yeah, we can't make the full set. Well, that's a little sad. Meteors should be coming down soon, which will make our life easier as well. So our next boss, we could fight the Queen Bee. Technically, it's something we could do. We could also fight... Let's not put that in there. We could also fight Skeletron. A little bit easier said than done. But, it is an option. So, do we know where our dungeon is? We don't, but it's it's on the left for sure. So we're going to have to explore the surface here. Uh, we need a goblin invasion. That way we can get the uh, yield yield. You know what I'm talking about? You don't because I'm not really describing it. Goblin tinker. Do we have a gravity potion anywhere? I thought we did. Huh. No gravity potions? We even have one in our buff. They probably ran out if we used it, but okay. Well, that's a little unfortunate. We're going to need more houses here, too. Because while we have uh, a lot of NPCs now, none of these guys are really doing too much. We're going to need to make more houses. We're going to need to make biome houses. That way we can use the pylons. So villagers like to kind of live in certain biomes, and they will only you know, sell the pylons that let you teleport around if they're happy. And right now... They're probably not too happy. I mean, Guide likes to be in the forest. I think... Dryad likes to be in the forest, but likes to be in the jungle more. Merchant likes to be in the forest. Die Trader likes to be in the uh, desert. There's a whole lot of things. I'm not going to try and worry about getting every single biome done here, but I would like to have convenient teleport spots. So let's head off to the left here. We're going to do a little bit of exploring. Exploring? It's fairly important. We got to understand our land. And we're fairly strong now. I mean, our defense is looking great. We have shadow armor, kind of. It's higher than the gold armor, even though it's not the full set. And we've got the worm scarf now with warding, which is also increasing our defense a lot. I mean, we're just absolutely cooking, if I have to say so myself. Also, here's some more shadow scales and stuff. That's pretty convenient. If we fight the Eater of Worlds again, we can get the full set. But I'm not too worried about it right off the bat. Because I'm more than likely going to upgrade to the Meteorite armor. Because Meteorite, Space Gun, pretty OP combo. I typically play Mage, so I may have a little bit of a bias towards Mage items. But we're kind of doing a mixed class here, so we're not worried about, you know, sticking with a certain build or anything. Unless I really start struggling on, like, Plant Terror or something. Then, yeah, I mean, I'll probably have to, like, kind of switch into an actual build for a moment. Here's our snow biome. Nice and peaceful. Um, these biomes really don't serve a huge purpose, but they're here. I mean, they're here. <laughs> they don't do a lot. Technically, there's a couple things to do here, but it's all optional stuff in the first place. There's a don't starve boss here. And they had a little collab, so there's a boss you can spawn. I forget what the dude's called, but he's like a yeti looking dude. He's got long legs. Don't starve is a pretty fun game. I might have to check that out again soon, too. I'm a big fan of all these kind of survival games. Is that an underwater chest on the surface? That is extremely rare. <laughs> that is extremely rare. Water walking boots on the surface. Oh, wow. Um, that's really, really rare. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that pleasant surprise. Well, we needed those for the uh, terrace sparks down the line, so I'm glad we got them. Okay. That's weird. I don't think I've ever seen water walking boots on the surface. It's typically always a, a challenge to get some water walking boots because they're a rare item because they only come from water crates from fishing or the water chests that are underwater. Well, that's wild. So here is a desert. I feel like we should make some shacks here. Um, We'll put the die trader over here. I don't know who else goes over here. Is it demolitionist? I think it might be demolitionist. We'll make a little couple houses here. Uh, there needs to be a minimum of three of them, I think. So we're, we're going to make three houses here. Forgive the building. This is... These are going to be some slum shacks for now until I can upgrade them. It 
just is what it is. So let's kind of get some wood going down here. Make it all thematic at least. Use the right wood. Bam. One lower. We need to make it proper so the door can actually go there. Then another. I like to kind of make like tiki houses around here. I tend to keep a certain design, mostly because I'm not super duper creative with the building. So I just like, I came up with one design ever and then I'm like, yep, this is the design I will use in every run now. Okay, three workbenches. We're gonna have to grab a little bit more wood here. But it's a good idea to make these houses early on. That way we can, you know, get the pylons, get the fast teleport going around. It'll make our life a lot easier. Let's grab all this wood and then we're going to place down some acorns so some more wood grows because it's important that we have trees growing at all times. Running out of wood is technically possible. Let's just not run into that situation at all, preferably. <laughs> Let's make platform. And then we'll make maybe like a tiki house over the water here. The, the building is being a little annoying about it. Our inventory is quite full, but you know what? It just is what it is. You got to deal with it sometimes. And let's... Bam, perfect. We're going to make house here as well. It may not be centered. It's okay. It is what it is. It just is what it is. Break these trees. Our mining speed will get a lot faster later on too. So I know it looks really slow and boring right now with the building speed, but it gets crazy. Did I build these higher than normal? I absolutely did. Well, I'm going to have to like keep that in, you know, all symmetrical here because it'd be a little dumb not to have it, right? What's going on? What is this storm? I mean, I hear the music. It almost makes you think there's an event happening, but I guess it's just a thunderstorm. Hmm. Okay. I thought maybe something actually exciting was happening. The music was getting a little crazy with it, so I was like, ooh, what's happening? Nope. Let's, we're going to have to grab a little bit more wood here to finish up these houses, and then we can move on. I want the die trader to move in over here, and I want the demolitionist. Past that, I don't know who else moves in. Is it? It's not the painter. Painter likes to. He likes to go to the jungle, right? I think so. Nurse likes to kind of go wherever. I think, although I think she has a preference for the hallowed biome. But obviously, we don't have that yet. Do not have that biome unlocked yet. Okay, these guys need to chill. Get you're excited to see me and all, but like, it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. You guys are a little too much. Well, let's get rid of some of this stuff. We definitely need to clear up our inventory a little bit. Why are there so many enemies, man? Get out of here. You guys are ridiculous. It's, it's just way too many enemies. Okay, and that's good. Why is it using purple torches? Absolutely not. We don't take purple torches around here. Get these out of my inventory. Let's scroll up. Get some more normal torches because we are apparently almost out on them. That'll last us a while. Torches are always a problem. Wood is the one resource in the game that you, you just constantly need. You're always going to need wood. Even when you think you got enough wood, you could be holding a, you know 999 wood. You're going to need more wood. There's a constant need for wood. Everything requires wood. You're going to be building houses out of wood. It gets, you know, wood is just constant. It's a constant way of life. Where's the chair? Oh, yeah, they have stools here in the, the tester. They don't actually have real chairs. Okay, we're almost good. Almost good. Just need a little bit more wood. Water leaf, we need that for a potion, right? Is that wormhole potions, which we don't need in multiplayer? I mean, in single player. In multiplayer, you need wormhole potions. They let you teleport to your teammates. They're extremely useful. 
Because if somebody dies in a fight and then they need to get back quickly, wormhole potion. It's the perfect thing. Oh, there's the dungeon. Oh, perfect. That's basically a quick teleport to the dungeon later on. Nice. Because we will be coming back to the dungeon many, many times. The dungeon is a scary place and we can't enter it until Skeletron dies. So otherwise, something called the Dungeon Guardian is going to come out and he's going to absolutely body me. There's just no way around it. He will insta-kill you. It's how it works. Flaming Mace? Cool, I guess, but I don't really need it. Let's get some walls going here. We also need some chairs. How many chairs we got right now? We have... Oh, where'd it go? My inventory. I think we had two. Let's just drop in and pick them back up. Oh, oh, we already placed one down. That's why. <laughs> That's why it's gone. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Let's get rid of the Ebonstone blocks. Because we don't really need those. For the Ebonstone. Ebony. You know. And we're going to need yield, yield, walls. Where are the walls? There we go. And here's some sand, finally. We can make some glass windows, which I will do. I'm going to grab some sand. I know we already have some, but we're, we're going to need a lot more than 48. I always like to make windows and stuff and make myself at least look a little bit presentable. But right now, these are just going to be slum jacks. It just is what it is. Okay, these should be acceptable for the NPCs. Let's check real quick. They are suitable, suitable, suitable. Perfect. Well, let's move the die trader over here and the demolitionist because I think those are the two that move over here at first. Or, or like to be over here. I think it's the arms dealer as well. Am I right? Demolitionist also likes to be... Oh, the meteor's coming down. Nice. You saw that in the background. Now, it hasn't come up with the message yet, right? So, no, it hasn't landed, but we did see it in the background. It means it's coming. So we can get our meteor right there. It is okay. So somewhere on the map now, there's a meteor on the ground. It's more near the center than it is near the edges, but we'll check over here. I've seen it hit the near the dungeon before. It did not this time. It's pretty rare for it to hit the dungeon because the dungeon typically spawns on the edges. But listen, meteors are very indiscriminate. All they need when they come down from the ground is to land in a one gap, like one tile gap. And they will go all the way through until they hit a block. So they could hit down your elevator if you got so unlucky. They don't hit typically in the dead center, but I've seen some weird bugs where they have. Wow, another surface chest with <laughs> underwater chest? What? What are even the chances? I never see those. Like, they, you typically almost find them exclusively underground. Okay. Looks like the uh, dungeon's not so close to the edge this time. There it is, by the way. There's the meteor. Good to see. We will be mining this because, well, it's pretty useful to have. 